So, starting off, we have Tom. Tom the Magic Cat. Here we have Tom the Magic Cat. Oh, children of Google. Google this name. Adrian Mitchell, poet long past, but he, on the front line of the working class, said this. Most people ignore most poetry because most poetry ignores most people. So this night, the third round, in a specific time and space, this is your face inside my mirror. Reflecting upon the fact that you're brave enough to explore through the medium of metaphor, the pain and the pleasure. Misty Rose, you came a long way for this evening. You know quite well that you made this reading only because you said this is an important place to be, the only place you can be. P.W. Covington, I've known you for so long in Texas jails and outside the bars. There you are drinking in inspiration and pouring out perspiration. And your love, she comes out like a flower tonight. First time. First time to let the tongue fly like wings. First time to trust that other ears will sing. First time inside this room at least four new voices were born this evening. Fresh, moon washed, and you returning to the tribe that loves you because you know quite well they're welcoming you. Now all these words, words, all lies. You know quite well that we despise the fork-tongued politician and the patriarchal priests. But the bottom line is this. You don't have to trust anybody when you express. You only have to trust that there'll be someone there to undress their own soul. Your soul belongs to you. You don't have to listen to anyone at all. And the bottom line is, at the end of this evening, we'll be all going to different directions and different destinies. And while our footpaths lead towards our own immorality or immortality, it doesn't matter except we have expressed an antidote to death. That's more than you expect when your bravery is reflected in the mirror of your shining eyes and life. Thank you for tonight.